this hour. England are the ICC World 2020 champions after thrashing Australia by seven wickets in Barbados. The players have partied long into the night and their return to England may well be delayed by the latest flight disruptions due to the volcanic ash. Well, England justified Paul Collingwood's decision to field by strangling Australia's top order in the power play overs, although the Australians did recover from eight for three to post 147 for six. Well, Michael Clark promoted himself to number three and made a run of ball 27. David Hussey top scored with 59 of 54, but Luke Wright took the important wicket of Cameron White. He made 30 of 19. England lost Michael Lum early in their reply, but Craig Kiesvetter and Kevin Peterson put on 111 for the second wicket. Kiesvetter made 63 off 59 balls, Peterson 47 off 31. And it was left to Paul Collingwood to hit the winning runs with all of three overs to spare. England, the champions, the ICC World 2020 2010. England celebrating becoming world champions and celebrating a demolition of Australia. The boys deserve it because uh, we put a lot of hard work and effort into it and uh, you know the boys are absolutely thrilled we came out today and put that performance in. England winning their first world title thanks to a man of the match innings from Craig Kiesvetter and a man of the tournament performance from the daddy Kevin Peterson. Pretty uh, interesting week for me, a little kid on Monday um, and uh, this trophy here but this trophy goes to all the lads. England chose to bowl and reduced Australia to eight for three, thanks to some good teamwork, some good individual work, and a touch or lack of it of good fortune. When Paul Collingwood saw off his opposing captain, Australia were just 47 for four at halfway. But they posted a target thanks to some belligerence from Cameron White and a half century from David Hussey, England needing 148 for victory. That looked assured with Kiesvetter powering his way to a world final 50. And Peterson relishing the big stage. Peterson is just in too good, Nick. Mind you, anything Peterson could do, a one-handed Kiesvetter matched. Not that it was to be entirely plain sailing, England's talisman just missed out on his half century. And Keyes better shred a few nerves with an unfortunate leave. But Captain Collingwood ensured it wouldn't go to the wire. And it was the skipper who took his country through to that first world final success. Great scenes for England. They've been awesome in this tournament. We want to kick on from this. Um, this is our first trophy we've won, and we're going to savour it, we're going to enjoy it, because it's, uh, it's been a long time since we got anywhere near doing something like this. So, a first world title for England, and first blood to England in the Ashes build-up. Mike Stanniforth, Sky Sports. Well, after the win, England took the trophy to the beach, as you do in the Caribbean, before parting into the early hours in Bridgetown. Well, they're due to fly to Jamaica before returning home tomorrow, volcanic ash permitting. So Peterson was named player of the tournament, finishing as England's top run scorer with 248 runs. Three South African-born players there in England's top four with Owen Morgan, who was playing for Ireland last time he was in the Caribbean in at three. Well, Morgan's variety of hitting at five has been one of the successes for England over the past couple of weeks. Remember that switch hit against uh, the Windies, Paul Collingwood? Yes, he appreciated that. Well, Morgan says the win is the highlight of his career. It's been fantastic. Um, something I always dreamed of. So um, dreams have come through and it's fantastic. I'll cherish this moment forever. Uh, I think we've, we've sort of adapted this free flow and go out and play your own game type of cricket. Um, we still stick with the basics of, of sort of a batsman in when the spinner comes on and then if you look to take any bowler down, go hard. So um, we're pretty happy with our performance and uh, delighted with the win. Well, Craig uh, Keyes had a strike rate at the top of the order has helped England get off to flies in pretty much every match so far. But he only passed 50 for the first time in the final, but he has provided those quick runs during the first six overs. The team uh, yeah, played pretty well throughout the whole tournament. The bowlers have executed all their plans and we've had great support from the crowd as well. Where do you think you need to keep improving on to uh, further your role in this side? Yeah, pretty much all around. I think a lot of work needs to be done on my keeping. 
Um, but, you know, I'm looking forward to getting back to Somerset and putting some hard yards in with Bruce French. Do you just see yourself as a one-day player or would you like to play in other forms of the game? No, I'd love to play all forms, um, but at the moment only one-day cricket for me. So, so hopefully put some more yards in, put some more, for, more performances in and keep knocking on the door. England's bowling unit was effective throughout the tournament with Graeme Swan and Ryan Sidebottom finishing with 10 wickets apiece and those five provided the bulk of the bowling with Collingwood and Luke Wright just getting an over each. Makes up for the last 18 months of you know the ins and outs and um, you know I, I can't quite believe it myself you know to win a World Cup is just amazing and uh, credit to all the guys I mean it's been it's been a great team performance uh, not just from one to eleven but you get those guys you know that are in the squad and, and also the the backroom staff have been absolutely amazing. You were there on a special day at the Oval. How does this compare? Oh, I mean it, both are equally special. I mean the Ashes um, was a wonderful experience last year. Um, but the crowd here in Barbados has been absolutely fantastic throughout the whole tournament and especially today. Um, but the way we've played throughout this tournament, we really deserve the, we really deserve the victory. Um, and I'm just so happy for, for everyone in that change room, the, the support staff, the players and every fan who's come over and supported us and back home. Uh, it's such a magical day for us. Oh, this is one of the reasons that it's so sweet because uh, it's the first time England have won a final and they've tried five times. In 1979, England lost to the West Indies in the World Cup final at Lords. Then in 1987 against Australia, they lost narrowly in uh, Kolkata. They're again finalists again in the World Cup in Melbourne in 1992, this time losing to Pakistan. And they fell at the last hurdle once again in the Champions Trophy final. That was at the Oval uh, six years ago, defeat by two wickets to the Windies on that occasion. So England have ended that run. And after regaining the Ashes, Andy Flower has led England to a world title. Well, it's an outstanding achievement, you know, to be the first England side to win a World Cup uh, trophy is a very proud moment for everyone, and I think the, the team is, is obviously overjoyed. I think one of the greatest things that will come from this win here is the self-belief that it will create in our dressing room, um, and that, I don't think that would be a, a veneer thin self-belief. I think um, it is, uh, it's born of hard work, and the guys have put in the hard work both the support staff and the players uh, and now they're starting to bear fruit there's a massive amount